Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Conservation Explorer presentation series. My name is Kent Taylor. At this session, we're going to walk you through some steps for creating a project and running a receipt for environmental review. Before we do that, though, we have to be registered and logged in. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've registered and simply log in. And we'll launch the map. We won't cover registration steps today. You can always find guidance in the help menu. So the first thing you notice, as a registered user, you have access to the environmental review layers. First we'll zoom to an area of interest. And we'll turn on some of the environmental review layers. Open up some of the layers so we can see the legends. Let's identify on a feature. You'll notice that not all species names are visible. For example, the names of the threatened and endangered species are always withheld, while the names of many species of special concern are visible. Some are labeled sensitive species. Those are the ones that are especially vulnerable to disturbance. Next, we'll select a project type, and using the drawing tools, we can delineate the project footprint. First, let's turn off all the ER layers to get a better view. Let's change the base map to see the underlying imagery. Remember, we can park this base map up in the corner here so it's available for us to use whenever we need it. And let's imagine that this warehouse business here is going to expand. We'll zoom in closer to take a look. Click on Create Project and we'll select a project type. In this case, it's development, adding to an existing facility. Now the drawing tools are available, and the polygon drawing tool is on. So I can click to start my drawing. and double click to finish. Notice the perimeter length and the project area were calculated as I was drawing. Now you can draw a project with two or more parts and we'll use the erase tool to exclude the railroad right away from the project footprint. We'll just draw the polygon to represent the erased area. and it cuts it right out. Now let's take a look at the show preview of project screening area, sometimes called the buffer area. That's this button up here. Click on that. And what it does is it draws a 200 foot buffer around the screening area. If you need to know the buffer size for a particular project type, Use the reference chart in the help menu. Click accept when you're ready or edit the shape or cancel to discontinue. Complete the project forms, adding a title 
and other information that's required. Click Submit for pre-analysis. What this does is check for avoidance measures or conservation measures that might be required for the project. If there are any, we may need to answer some questions such as the three shown here. Once that step is complete, the tool is ready to run the analysis and generate a receipt, also sometimes referred to as a report. Let's click on Submit and get started. It may take several minutes to generate the receipt, but it will send an email to let us know it's ready. Now we'll open My Projects. A list of all your projects will be shown in this window, and they'll be displayed in chronological order. Click on the headings to sort the list, or use the filters to refine your query. To view project info, click on the project title. This project page contains agency status information and links to the receipts, uploaded documents, and project shapefiles. This page should contain everything a reviewer needs to determine if a project is ready for clearance. Let's take a look at the receipt. As we scroll down, we can see that there are potential impacts. A couple different maps. And agency responses. There's also some instructions. Who to contact. So that's a view of the receipt. Let's look at the Edit Details button. This is where you would upload documents and attach files to your project. To view your project on a map, you can click Edit View Shape. I'll take you right to the map. You can make modifications and edit the footprint by clicking on Edit Project. Here's where you'd upload files and mark your project final. This is an important step. Your project won't be formally submitted for review until it's marked final. If you want to just rerun your receipt, choose the Generate Receipt button. You might do this if the two-year receipt window is expired. Today in Part 2, we learned how to create a project for environmental review. We viewed and edited the project in the Projects folder, and we finalized the project, making it ready for review. Thank you for participating today, and we hope you would provide us your feedback. And please stay tuned to the PNHP website for additional alerts, announcements, and updates. That's at naturalheritage.state.pa.us.